this is Ash from Revolution Me and this is a video about depression and whether it can be cured just by carving up. Carb the fuck up to cure depression or is there more to it than that? I know that this is a pretty controversial issue and as someone with personal experience and as someone who's also a psychologist I thought I would weigh in. So there's a couple of things to know here. First, depression is a neurochemical imbalance. So when the chemicals in our brain Neuro, our neurotransmitters are out of balance, it makes it harder for us to regulate our emotions and regulate our mood. And one of the side effects of that is depression. A lot of people think that when you have depression, you're sad all the time, and that's not actually true. People who have depression do experience highs and lows, it's just that the lows last a lot longer and they're often much more intense because people who have depression get into patterns of thinking and habits of thinking that make it much harder for them to come out of the depressed state because our thoughts do have an impact on our brain chemistry. A lot of people are surprised to hear that. When we have positive thoughts, it leads to the release of certain neurotransmitters and that elevates our mood. When we have negative thoughts, the opposite happens and it deflates our mood. Now there's actually two other things that also impact our brain chemistry. Those things are medication, psychoactive medication like Prozac, and the food that we eat. One of the things to know about people who have depression, sometimes they say medication cured my depression. And I, my personal opinion is that that's partly true. Sometimes what medication does, it alters our brain chemistry to the point where it starts to get back into balance a little bit, just enough for our own innate coping mechanisms to then kick in to be able to regulate our emotions the way that we normally would. And I think it's the same with the food that we eat. When we eat foods to which we're biologically designed, meaning high carbohydrate plant foods, then it starts to bring our neurotransmitters back into the right kind of balance. Because we have to remember that our brain is a system that's operating within an environment. Just like our body will function differently in clean, fresh air than in smoky, smoggy air, then our brain is going to function differently when it's in the optimum environment versus when it's in a chemical shitstorm. So if we're eating the foods that we're biologically designed for, which are whole plant foods, then our brain has a much better chance of functioning at that optimum level. And for a lot of people, when they start to eat whole plant foods, that's all it takes for their brain chemistry to start to return to normal, just enough for their natural um, coping mechanisms to kick in, just like I was describing with medication. So when you alter your brain chemistry, whether it's with medication or through diet, sometimes you get yourself up to a level, up to a point where you can then take your own coping mechanisms and essentially take yourself out of the depressed state. You can turn your thinking around. And maybe if you struggle to do it yourself, then you go and see a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a counselor to help you. The difference between changing your diet and taking a pill is that taking a pill has got side effects with diet when you're eating a whole plant-based diet, which is the food that we're biologically designed for, you're not really gonna get any negative side effects. So do, do we just need to carb up to cure depression? For a lot of people, yes, that's all it takes. Because when you carve up, when you eat the foods that you're biologically designed for, and when you eat plenty of them to fuel your body properly, then your brain's able to function properly, your neurochemistry is able to get back to normal a little bit, and it gives you the chance to, for your own coping mechanisms to kick in to be able to manage your state and manage your mood. For some other people, carving up is just the first step and then they might need a little bit of help from a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But either way, we gotta eat the foods that we're biologically designed for. We gotta eat the foods that are gonna give us that right brain chemistry so that we can function as optimally as possible. Because ultimately your brain can only work as well as the environment you give it. So you might as well give it the best environment and one of the easiest things to do is to improve the way that you eat. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about this very controversial issue. Feel free to leave me a comment and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.